and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I am talking the top 10 Area 51 Urban Legends Part 2. Now we made part 1 earlier this year but since then this whole let's see them aliens thing has come to pass, people are storming it, so we've decided as it's trending we need to create a part 2. Before we get into this video I want to ask you guys if you honestly and truthfully believe that there are aliens at Area 51. I'm like pretty on the fence, I think that we all love a good myth and a legend, hence why you guys love watching our videos so much, but I'm inclined to say that I don't think there are any there, maybe we'd be disappointed if we did storm it. Also before we get into the video I want to give you some clarification about Bob Lazar, now I mentioned him in my top 10 Area 51 myths video and I falsely said that the whistleblower worked at Area 51 in the 1950s when actually it was much later in the 80s. I'm going to hear a bit more about his thoughts in this list so do stay tuned. As ever. If you like our videos make sure you show me by leaving a big old thumbs up, sharing this video with a friend and subscribing to our channel if you haven't yet. If you want to read more about our sources there are links in the description box where you'll also find links to our most amazing Instagrams. All right. On with the show. Coming in at number 10 of our Area 51 Urban Legends Part 2, we have the mutants. It is widely rumored that in the United States of America, Area 51 was used to test nuclear bombs ahead of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki attacks, and also they would continue to be used for their nuclear program after. Now, we talked a bit about the nuclear element in Part 1, but not so much the fallout, literally. It seems that some people believe that the United States military were observing the effects that nuclear fallout had on humans and animals, with a whole lab of mutant humans locked away in the bowels of the facility. I honestly struggle to believe that the United States government would have dropped the atomic bombs if they'd known what it would do to people underneath it, but honestly, maybe that makes me naive. If they didn't study the effects beforehand, maybe since they've conducted live experiments on nuclear poisoning, perhaps the aliens that people have reported seeing at Area 51 are just heavily mutated people. Coming into number 9, we have time machines. I wish I could time travel. I really do, it would be really cool. I'd go back in time and slap Henry VIII. What a ham. So a lot of people agree that Area 51 is home to something top secret, but could that top secret project be an experiment into time travel? Some people absolutely think so. Others say it's teleportation technology, which is pretty wild too. Honestly, time travel and teleportation would be a game changer for us muggles, so I really do hope that's the case. There have been a number of people in history who have appeared to have time traveled, including a few self-professed time travelers like John Titer. He famously used rudimentary social media in 2000 and 2001 to claim that he was a time traveler from the American military coming from the year 2036. So? I mean the American military is very tied up in the whole Area 51 thing, so is this a clue? Furthermore, some people think that the flying saucers reported throughout history, especially around Area 51, are actually just us time traveling from the future. Wild, but you know. Legend. Coming into number eight, we have the triangular spy planes. Zoom. Hey, one of the more realistic urban legends, and honestly, probably a true legend. A lot of people believed in the 1960s that tech buffs at Area 51 were developing a super secret and super swift spy plane. This theory grew even stronger in the 1990s as strange sonic booms were heard around the country. The original urban legend says that the name of the plane is Aurora, a black triangular plane more powerful than the Lockheed SR. 71. Back in 2014, even more mysterious sonic booms were heard in London and New York, leading people once again to suspect the spy plane travelling at supersonic speed. More zooming. Lots of zooming. My plain hand. Coming in at number 7 we have the Illuminati. While the Illuminati were once a real organisation, the name has taken on a life of its own and it's an urban legend in its very own right. But an extension of the whole triangular drama is musings and speculations about where the secret HQ of the Illuminati might be. Now some people say Denver airport, but others say Area 51. And honestly, why not? Until recently Area 51 was a no fly zone, which would have made it a good spot for a secret meeting house of a world order. Although Denver is very much a fly zone being an airport and all of that, which actually might make it a very good disguise, it's hiding in plain sight. But wait, isn't that Area 51 plane supposed to be a triangle? Maybe that's Illuminati confirmed. 
Hmm? Okay, so if it isn't a secret Illuminati base, then maybe it's a bunker, and that is coming in to number six. It is widely speculated that Russia have a secret doomsday bunker hidden underneath their metro station. This is the metro station in Moscow, and honestly, I guess it very well could be true. The Cold War era was a very tense time during which both the Soviets and the Americans were worried that the sky was about to come raining in on them as the other attacked. A lot of Americans built nuclear bunkers in their own back garden, so it makes sense that the United States government built a number of them too. We already know that President Kennedy had one in Florida, but that's the East Coast. What about the West? Area 51? Does the facility sit above a deep rooted underground city? A lot of people think so, and it, I guess, would make quite a bit of sense. Shall we have some light relief, but also disturbing relief in the midst of this list? Coming into number five, we've got sexy aliens. <laughs> if the slew of memes following the much famed Facebook storming event are anything to go by, a lot of people think that there is an alluring secret lock behind the doors of Area 51. If you don't believe me, it seems that searches for Area 51 and aliens have increased on a certain adult website that launched the career of Mia Khalifa. If you want to see a little search graphic, here you go. Whoop. Also, I feel like now would be a good time to share some choice memes. Sexy aliens. Here you go. There also is indeed a nearby sci fi inspired brothel near Area 51. I wonder if things go down a little bit like this. Big booty, big old tree. I'ma make them wait. That is one sexy alien. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Coming into number four, we have the real history. Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. Even before Bob Lazar made his sensationalist claims, people believed that Area 51 contained mind blowing documents as to alien involvement with human civilization, as well as actual aliens. According to Bob, this is most definitely the case. He says that under lock and key within the test facilities, there are archives detailing extensive 10,000 year long relationships with aliens. It seems that intelligent alien life has visited Earth on numerous occasions, and that aliens truly did build the pyramids, or so the story goes anyway. This is probably my favourite of the list at number 3, and I really really hope it's true. We've got freeze ray guns. Freeze. Into it. I'm just going to come out there and say it. Is the US military creating energy weapons, including freeze ray guns at Area 51? A lot of people certainly think so. Directed energy weapons could be the next step in warfare, and there has been a lot of suggestions from the Pentagon, DARPA, the Air Force, and the United States Army that energy weapons are in the making. At the moment, they have been linked to missile defense systems, but perhaps they're also working on individual weapons too. Everyone's mate Baba Vanga, the blind mystic who died in the 90s, did predict that the US would have a war with a Muslim run Rome in the next few decades, and she said that the battle would be fought with freeze ray guns. So, I don't know, maybe she's onto something. I don't know how America would be about freeze ray gun control. If we could defrost people safely, then maybe it's the answer, right? Our next point is all about how the alien rumours came about in the first place. It's a good one. At number two, we have the Russians. So this is kind of a bit of a two-parter. Let me deal with the Russian side of the legend first, arguably the least crazy. The Roswell crash happened in 1947, the onset of the Cold War era between the United States of America and the Soviet Union, now Russia. Many people believe that the timeline is not a coincidence and that Actually, Soviets planned the Roswell crash in order to freak out Americans, thus sparking the whole Area 51 holds aliens panic. US journalist and author Annie Jacobson wrote a book which put the legend down in writing and presented the situation as fact. According to the book, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin was inspired by Orson Welles' 1938 radio drama The War of the Worlds. As a result, he decided to generate something cosmic to throw the United States into hysteria, allowing the Soviets the upper hand. Now it seems that the Soviets designed an alien like craft, which they then remotely piloted into US airspace. But unfortunately, the craft crashed in the wrong location, and the incident was hushed up by the Americans. Jacobson says this was confirmed by a former employee of Area 51, who was put on the Roswell project in 1978. So what about them aliens? Stay tuned for number one, because this is 
crazy. Coming into number one, we have Joseph Mengele's creations. This is wild, wild, wild. Have you heard of Joseph Mengele? He was the evil Nazi doctor who worked in Auschwitz on sick experiments. He especially liked to focus on twins. He was a horrible, horrible, horrible man. One of the worst in history. Unfortunately, he was also a horrible man who did not meet justice in the end because he escaped Germany and went to live in Argentina, eventually dying aged 67 in Brazil. What he did after his career as a deranged scientist? Well, we don't know, but according to legend, Joseph Stalin commissioned him to design fake aliens to land in America. It is said that the Doctor of Doom mutated Russian children in order to make them look alien and then gave them back to the Soviets so they could land them in the United States and cause panic. Again, wild, right? Perhaps this does check out timeline wise though. Mengele was on the run at the end of the war in 1945, but he didn't sail to Argentina until 1949, and he would have need good allies to get out. He was a sought after man. Perhaps he was captured by the Soviets who then used him to help him get one up on America before allowing him to go free. Were the aliens the greys that we hear so much about from sources who worked at the facility? Are these greys actually mutated Russian children? Fake aliens, is that weirder than actual? Aliens? It could be. All right, before we wrap this video up, I'm gonna read some comments from the top 10 scary Area 51 myths. Similar but different. A lots of you guys had a lot of nice things to say about my jumpsuit, so thank you very much. Lily Wooster said, "Rebecca, Area 51 is actually the headquarters of the Illuminati." You took the words right out of my mouth, or this video's mouth. The words right out of my mouth. It's a good song. Thank you. Tarina said, "What if aliens are actually humans from future evolved over millions of years and then time travel back?" Well, that actually is a theory that I also included in this video. Maybe it's true. Maybe we're little grey aliens in the future. But why are we so small? Questions. Megan Crane said, "She blinks like that because she's sending secret messages to her alien overlords." KGB Zika said, Tragic missed opportunity to reprise the alien song. I am very sad. All right, you are right. I'm sorry I didn't deliver it. I just tried to like slip it in with a bit of surprise. I'm gonna do my outro and then I'll sing myself out with it. So stay tuned for that. Or leave now if you don't wanna be here for the cringe. I don't blame you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. If you liked it, make sure you show me by giving it a good thumbs up, sharing it with a friend, subscribing if you haven't yet, checking out the links in our description box, our most amazing Instagrams, and sticking around for this song. Aliens, aliens, aliens. Aliens, aliens, aliens. Are they in Area 51? There's only one way to find out. Storm it! It's a new verse for 2019. Thank you and good night. <laughs>